Man, I feel really guilty. I haven't sent anything to Dan for Mod Pod in a while. I know I've missed some birthdays and and some Christmases and well, I'm sure he'll really appreciate it. He'll say something like, "Hey everybody, I've got the package from Joe Grotesque." Sure, my accent's not so good. I'm gonna go put something together for him. That should do nicely. He should get it just fine. Package for Mr. Artpod? Sorry it's late. Okay, that's cool. I'll just leave it on the table, please. Okie dokie. Who was that? Let's see. Dan Oddpod UK. I wonder who this is from. Ah, Retro Cynical. Ooh. everybody, welcome to Oddpod, I'm Dan, and I just got a package from Joe Grotesque from Retro Cynical. So let's go see what else he's sent me. Okay, so let's see what else Joe has sent me. So up to now, thank you for the Pokemon Gold and Silver poster. I really, really like it. So, let's have a look. Oh, quite a few things there. Let's see, oh, we have a note. What does the note say? Hello sir, here's just a few things I thought might brighten your day and maybe come in handy for review. Well they are right now. And he did a little cool picture of a turtle. Thank you. And that's from Joe Grotesque from Retro Cynical. So thank you Joe. I really like the poster up to now so let's see what the rest of the stuff is. So first of all we have an official Terminator 2 Judgment Day 12 movie cards and one offer card. What's an offer card? Um, very cool, opening them in a second. Next up we have the Flare Ultra Skeleton Warriors Premier Edition 8 Bad to the Bone cards. Very, very cool. Next up we have Ghost Rider 2 trading cards from Comic Images. Ooh, look for 10 special Glow in the Dark cards. Oh, I hope I get a Glow in the Dark one, that'd be really cool. Thank you. And we have Batman, the number one hit movie. So we have nine cards, one sticker, one stick of tasty bubblegum. And they're from Tops. So very, very cool. And that is, well, I'm assuming, and it's got to be the Tim Burton 1989 movie. It's got to be. So very, very cool. And here we have 24 Voltron tattoos. Very, very cool. One sheet of 24 tattoos. Food approved colours. Food approved colours? What does that mean? Very cool though, I shall check them out in a minute. So what should we go for first? Let's see. We should go for Ghost Rider. So let's have a look, see what we got. Da -da. Okay. So first of all we have, oh, that feels like a glow in the dark card. Very, very cool. I'm pretty sure that bit glows in the dark. I can't check it fully yet, but um, I'm pretty sure it is anyway. There's a bit about at the back. Very, very cool. Next up we have another one. That Doctor Strange there. Very cool. A bit of eye, what's Doctor Strange? Nice. Next up. Oh, bit of a car chasey scene kind of one there. Very nice. Hi, Lil. Next up, oh, that's a really cool one. I'd love that. That's a big, huge poster. Look at that. That's a really cool looking one. Duo. Oh, Morbius. Very cool. Nice. Oh, we have another one just like that. Very cool. I really like that. A bit of back there. Next up. Look, it's very full, this image. So we can get it all in there. There we go. Lots happening there, lots of colour. And a bit back there. Feel free to pause and read if you want to. Oh, we've got my favourite Spidey right there. Very, very cool. A bit about that there. Got 
hobgoblin stuff and everything going on there. Very cool. Next up, oh, we have the hobgoblin himself, or green goblin. Nice. There we go. Cool. Oh, there's quite a lot of cards in just one packet. That's pretty impressive. Nice. Cool. And last of all, oh, a very, very cool one. I really like that. That's really cool. Nice. They are very cool. I really like them. There's quite a lot in the pack as well, which is really impressive. Next up, we'll go for Skeleton Warriors. And these are from 1995. So let's take a look at these. I wasn't really into the Skeleton Warriors cartoon as a kid. The toys look quite cool, but I never had those either. Oh, and it just popped out. There we go. <laughs> so let's see what cards we've got. Oh, they're very, very nice quality though. So we have this one there, Ferris Farewell. Or Farewell. Oh. Really, really beautiful. It's all gold and shiny and everything. Very nice. I don't want to get my fingerprints on it. <laughs> Very cool, I like that one. Oh, that's a really cool one. Look at that. Skeleton Legion. Very, very cool. That, that, see, that would make a great huge poster, that. Look at that. That's amazing. I love that. Let's put that in there for you. Very cool. I really like that one. It's my favourite up to now. Next up, we have Dark Sky Cycle. Very cool. Oh, they have really good quality images. I really like that. That's really, really cool. Next up we have Lightstar. Very cool. See, I don't really know who these characters are, so I can't really say much about them. There's a bit of writing stuff there for you. Very cool. Ooh, very cool. Baron Dark. I think I saw a figure for him in a toy shop a while ago. Very cool. Is that right upside down? Yeah, that's very cool, I even like the backs of them. They're very cool as well. That's a really good image. Kind of like Iron Maiden type of image, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, Dr. Janov. Janov, I don't know. No, not the most interesting picture, but it's another character, isn't it? So there's a bit about that character, I think. Very cool. Nice. Next up we have. Oh, it's a different. It feels a bit different, this card. Claw. Very cool. How does it feel kind of... Oh! There we go. It glows in the dark, so there's like an image behind there that glows. Oh, that's very cool. Always love glow in the dark stuff. That's really, really cool. I like that. And last of all, we have Heartless. Very, very nice. A bit of right in there. Very cool. Got to say my fave is definitely that one. That's a really cool image. They're really good cards. I'm really impressed with those. Very cool. Next up, we'll have we'll have the Terminator 2 Judgment Day cards. And it's quite a lot of cards for just one pack. I'm really impressed with that. Was this expensive back in the day? These got to be from like 92, maybe? Yeah, 92, I think. So let's see what we have in here. Start from the top. Well, we have like... Um, Collector's pen and pencil set. What? Oh, it's like an offer thing. Okay, <laughs> that's very confusing. So that's a classic scene with a pen and pencil. Oh, so you can buy a pen and pencil set. Um, yep. <laughs> Let's see the profit cards. Okay. So T1000 Commandeers a Tanker. There we go. It has been a while since I've seen Terminator 2. I'll need to rewatch it soon. Very nice. We have. Evening Paul, these are friends of mine. Nice. And you can pause that and read that anytime you want. Uh, next up we have Drop By Anytime. Nice. Very cool. Next up we have No Fate. It's a nice image. There we go. Next up, we have High Five. Classic scene from the movie. Nice. So, oh, the sad scene. Mission completed. Oh, I should have had the one with the thumbs up. That would have been cool. Yeah, sad bit. And there's a bit of 
about that. That's a good one. Come on, Mum, we've got to keep moving. Nice. These are really good quality cards as well. The battle is joined. Cool. Next up, the escape is almost complete when... <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Oh, not the camera then, sorry. Very cool. Terminator carries roses for his date. cards. <laughs> Terminator is prepared to go to extremes. Is he? Doesn't look like he's going to many extremes in this picture, but okay. A bit about that scene or that picture. And last of all, you can't, you can't just go around killing people. You remember when one of the video games, you only could shoot people in the leg in the hospital, I think. can't remember which game it was in. And there we go. They're good. My favourite up to now. Got to be Skeleton Warriors. Very, very cool. But still, they were good. Next up we have Batman. And Batman. So let's check these out. Oh. Alright, let's see how stuck they are with the bubble gum. Can we get the bubble gum off? Oh, no. Oh, we've ripped a bit of it. Mmm, oh, tasty. It smells of nothing. Okay, so we have. Um, oh, there we go. Got a picture of the Batwing. Very cool. I don't know what that is. Looks like the top of Joker's head, maybe. Could be. Uh, the back there. Just a bit of stuff. And Endangers Domain. It's a nice picture. I like that. Next up, we have Vicky to the rescue. Picture. Just a bit of stuff at the back for you. Next, taking aim at the Batwing. That's a good scene, that. I like that scene. It's another movie I've not seen for quite a while. I need to rewatch that as well. There we go. Sabotage is next. I remember that. Very cool. Nice. Wait till, wait till they get a load of me. Yeah, another great scene. Nice. Next up, we have I'm in charge now. Great. Uh, we have Grissom's gruesome demise. Ah, do you remember how he gets killed? To get stabbed or something or shot? I think he just gets shot, doesn't he? Okay. There we go. And Batman lives. Very nice. And Alicia Hunt. Very cool. Comments below, who is your favourite Batman? Who portrayed him the best? I've got to say, after watching Batman vs Superman, it's got to be Affleck for me. Because I didn't like all the others, except for um, Adam West. <laughs> so yeah, that's my fave. Adam West and Affleck. Alright, last of all we have the Voltron tattoos. So let's take a close look at these. Uh, probably won't put them on in this video, but I might put them on in a future video. Because I will, I will want to do a video on um, transferable tattoos, because that was quite a big thing when I was a kid. Um, those tattoos, you used to get them free with comics and stuff like that. They were very cool. Sometimes you get them in like um, those, what do you call them? Dispenser machines, 20p machines, those kind of things. Fender machines. So let's have a look what we've got. And I can't name any of these characters, I'm afraid, so you'll have to do it in the comments below. We have Blue Guy. We have, oh, we have Voltron. We have that guy. We have that person. We have Shouty Man. We have Panther. We have Green Tiger. We have Shouty Lady. We have Guy. We have Tiger again, we have Princess Zelda, <laughs> we have Ginger Guy, we have Blue Hair People, we have Catface, we have Screamy Lady again, and Voltron at the end. 
very very cool it's kind of they feel quite different to normal um transferable tattoos so what do they say at the back let's see so it's, i think it's the normal thing carefully tear along yeah lines moisten hand very slightly place tattoo face down and moisten area for a few seconds lift up and presto you've got it i think in most of the instructions i remember it was always 30 seconds so very cool so they are voltron tattoos which i will do a video on in the future hopefully so thank you Dr joe dro your name's not dro is it thank you joe grotesque from retro cynical very very nice of you to send all these cool things to me including the poster as well which i have up on my wall and all these great cards i really do appreciate it and please everybody watching go check out retro cynical i think you'll really like his channel if you like art pod you'll like retro cynical it's all retro fun stuff and yeah i really really appreciate you sending all this cool stuff to me and yeah so please go and check his channel there'll probably be a little linky in the corner and there'll be one in the description below too go and check him out and tell him our pod sent you. And thanks for watching, everybody. Like, comment, subscribe, etc. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.